Well, come everyone, today we have a special guide for Diablo 4, and this will be about gambling. If you look behind me, you can see something very interesting, no? Yes, the gambling merchant actually can allow you to gamble for secret and also essential items, very likely, and also here I'll be trying to gambling for unique items. Notice that my gambling merchant is a lot different to what you guys can see for the gambling merchant, and there will be icons of item that is created onto the secret grid color. Now, let me, let me just show you me trying to gamble, and then I'll explain how to do this, and what are the best rate, and how can you possibly get yourself some rare, unique items using this method. Now, I haven't got any rare, I haven't got any unique items though, but you can see here, by spending my heart and opals, I only have 500. I, I can't see it. So, I started with 500. So, you can see, I got three legendaries, and one of the legendaries I got was a secret grid legendary. And this is how you should be gambling. And it's very important I make this guide to teach you guys about gambling because this will become especially important after level 53 and likely after level 73 or 74. So there you go, one ancestral great item gambled. And let me show you guys how. Now you can also see the stats of the other items I gambled, nothing too special. I'm not going with the whirlwind build, so I haven't tried the whirlwind yet. But a lot of our viewers have been saying I should try the whirlwind build, but I haven't got the time to do so. Now this is a replay right? but what I want to show you guys is before we go to the next part of replay, so I don't have to run all the way myself with my account, is that something interesting. So I have made a guide to tell you guys about this, I'll skip the savage part. So here, what you want to do is, knowing there is a method to gamble for secret items and also ancestral items, you should be keeping those catches. Notice here I'm saving those murmuring catches for 50 murmur orbs, and I'll be using this once I can gamble for the ancestral great items and also ancestral unique items this week. So very important guys to follow this method. I'll talk about this at the end of the video. Now coming over to my account, so what is happening is here is me level 53 and my friend is level 51. There is a big big difference once you get to level 53, because if I come over to the gambling embassy, notice that the colors not changed. You only can gamble for normal grid items, right? The biggest difference over here is that I'm currently on World Difficulty 2. So if I switch myself onto World Difficulty 3, and here's a switching tip. If you change your difficulties, always do it this way. So you don't have to go back to town, you don't lose your progress. Because if you go back to town, you lose your town portal. So what I want to show you guys is, I do believe this happens after level 53. Oh boy, this is so hidden. So what I have ready for you guys is, on the next part, you got to stay for this part too. I have updated the probabilities of gambling as well for different rates of items, especially with a new cost for the rings. And I looked everywhere for gambling. <laughs> even our videos come up, right? I looked everywhere for gambling, and even on Maxwell GG, nothing is updated. It's quite important for you to know this, because notice here, all of a sudden, the gambling item just changed. Notice that all of a sudden, I am getting highlighted you know, secret grid item on two hand axe this time. Last time it was the one hand axe, right? So you should be doing a method like this to be resetting your gambling NPCs. And this actually spawns randomly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is actually pretty bizarre, right? So a lot of us, maybe you guys have noticed this one, but this is the first time I noticed this one. You can be resetting your gambling NPCs to spawn different item of different grid, which cost the same. And I'll come back to the video and show you guys. So just for your reference, notice I started with recording and gambling on the X, which is one hand X, and I was was that was I gambling X or was I I was gambling the sword of the X. I actually forgot. Uh, what was it? I gambled sword. Mace? I gambled mace, right? So yes, you can see the mace I was gambling, it is fifty cost of opals. And here, let me see if I reset it correctly. Uh, I think it refreshed hourly. Maybe the resetting wasn't working. So notice here, now all of a sudden, I have the two headed weapon, which can, can be obtained as, uh, what you call it, as a higher grade. Which, notice this highlight, this icon, which allows you. I'll, I'll buy one to show you guys. <laughs> That's a bad idea, but two. <laughs> you never buy two hand weapon. I'll show you exactly why. This is the worst idea. I should not have done this. <laughs> so, what I was trying to say is. You can notice the grade of items. I, I do believe, you know, you can be getting unique items by buying this highlighted grade. So let, let me go through the process. So there isn't a lot of information out there for this part of gambling. So the first thing is my friend who is level 51, which I left the party, right? And when he was 51, I do believe he can't even see this. Once I get to 53, I start to see those items randomly spawn with gambling NPC. 
and you do want to come often to the gambling NPC. And once you have the maximum opal cap, you can use the you know opal trick. So the opal trick is when you store the opals as catchers and don't open them until later, so you can get a secret and also ancestral great. And you do want to come to the NPC randomly because notice here the var variety of item that is available is very different, and you can be getting di different grade of items. And ancestral grade is going to be possible, I believe, after level seventy three or seventy four. So the first mark you want to see is I'm currently level 53. I made so many videos and I'm behind on progress. I need to, I need to level up. <laughs> I need to level up soon. So I'll just, you know, keep making new videos, right? Now the next thing is you want to come up here often and you want to see what is going to be the best buy for your class. Firstly, they have to be on the right grade and then you have to go for the best buys. Now this is pole arm, there's chairs, there's a lot of items. And finally, guys, if you're looking for a unique item of a special piece, you should be buying that piece. For example, I'm looking for the whirlwind, which provides me with explosion for my endgame build. And also, I'm looking for the grandfather. And this is one of the reasons looking over here, I was buying. Actually, I bought a two-handed axe rod. I should have bought a two-handed sword. <laughs> I thought those were two-handed items. I did a demonstration, but what in my mind was, I was buying for the two-handed unique sword possibility. And yes, you don't do what I do. So if you're trying to get the grandfather, even at this level, you go for the two-handed sword, but it's not worth it for now. I'll explain very soon. And of course, it is very, very nice for me, for my class to be going for the whirlwind. You can see the whirlwind unique gloves is available. And here, what you want to do is you want to see the reset when the highlight icons appears. You want to be gambling for those for your unique chances and also chance of secret items. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so because I'll be covering tons of Diablo 4 related topics and also videos and also guides. We'll be looking to the top meta builds, no meta builds, leveling up, and also Paragon tricks. We're also looking to the latest events and also official updates and also changes to different characters and also different builds in the game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn the notification on because a lot of you who are watching the videos have not subscribed. You can see 80% of the viewers who are watching our videos have not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the latest update for Diablo 4. Now, as a brief explanation before we go to the next part of the gambling rates and also the best buys, one source icons, and also shop refreshes, what you can see is those opal merchants, oh, no, it's not opal, those murmuring catches contains opals, opals, and you can be getting those ones doing side quests. What I recommend is before opening them, check the title of those items, and I'm saving all of those items to gamble for ancestral greater item once I get to level 70 plus, and I do believe this will become available. So quite important, guys, to save those for much, much higher grade. And once I can switch into world tier 4, I can be gambling for those items for massive upgrade. So this is a per tip, right? Now coming over to the second part of the video. If you haven't seen this video, oh boy, we have a lot of good stuff for you. <laughs> so here we do have a video guide about this one. So I have made a video guide, then definitely have a look watch because in this guide I explained a lot. Now do keep in mind, guys, there has been some changes. So the first change is the ring used to cost 40, now the ring costs 60. So the ring was a really good buy for some classes for getting offensive codex or offensive aspects. Now it is not that much. But this is still very important for a lot of class like barbarians to be rolling for your excellent ring, right? I was really lucky. I got this ring for the short cooldown reduction and it's a really high roll. So yes, the ring is still important if you're going for your resource uh, legendary FXs. And you can still use the same method you saw with the resetting of NPCs to get a higher grade item once it appears. Now, if you guys haven't seen this video, I strongly recommend having a watch because I explained a lot and I worked pretty hard for this gambling cell. As a brief summary, notice the tabs over here. I made a summary for each of the classes. What is the best item you can be gambling for for your targeted legendary aspects? Let's say if I'm going for offensive aspects for barbarians, it is the best rate to be going for one handed weapon. Now, if you want to see the details of the rates, you can see that if I gamble for the one-handed weapon, I have 2.67% of getting the legendary aspects I wanted from 500 opals. But if I gamble on the rings, it's 1.5, 1.54. If I gamble on the gloves, it is 2.53. And yes, there will be rate changes. And if you gamble for the amulet, there's only 1.16 of getting what you wanted offensively for the legendary aspects. Now, because each of the classes actually have different amount of what you call it, each classes actually have different amount of legendary aspects and or codexes. What I mean by that is, notice this is the one for Druid, right? This is the offensive codex for Druid. And if I come over here, this is the offensive codex for Barbarian. It is much considerably less 
And this is why there's a variation of the best buys for your class. So tap over here to see what is available for your class and the best buys of getting those items. And everything still be the same. But here you got to remember, you look for the highlights of those items for also the possibility of unique items and also accessory items in the future. Now, as a brief summary, hopefully the video is not too confusing. I was too excited as I show you guys, right? So as a brief summary, what you want to do is you want to get to at least level 53 first. And once you get to level 53, you set your world level to level three, and then you come over to the gameplay NPCs very often because they can appear the upgraded version of the items you want to look for. And you want to be buying those upgraded version for the chance of unique items and also secret grade items. And you want to be doing this after level 73 or 4, I believe, because after that, and once you unlock world tier 4, you can be getting ancestral grade of uniques and also, you know, legendary items. And this will be very important. Now, while those items are highlighted over here in the vendor, what you need to do is come over to our guide, which I have prepared for you guys. And you do really want to watch this Excel, the Excel guide. This one explains a lot because I don't want to spend the time to go back there again, right? We'll have a video. So come back to the Excel, look at the possibilities and look at the best buys. And you can even look at your rates of how much you can get from 500 obos. So very good Excel guide. And now we have more gambling tricks. Now, before you go, and if you guys didn't know, we have a new YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out the behind the scenes and also fun clips and also more stories about us. And then you get to know me a little more personally instead of just reading the news and also the games, right? So I want to share a little bit more with you guys. So make sure you check this channel out if you're interested about Matt and also Uni. She's really funny too. And she's really shy. So I want to give her a surprise and do a shout out for the new channel to get some subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.